Hi, my name is Matthias Bostrom. I'm the chief of the arthroplasty service here at the Hospital for Special Surgery. This patient had bilateral hip replacement several years ago, probably over 10 years ago, and now has significant osteolysis on the left, but less osteolysis on the right. The left side is going to need a custom triflange, and that's being planned right now. But in the interim, he had such a massive polyethylene wear on the right side that we decided to go ahead and get the right side replaced. The femoral component appears to be well fixed, it's cemented. There may be a little bit of osteolysis proximally, but really not a whole lot. The acetabular component is also well fixed, but you can see the eccentricity of the femoral head in the socket, and that often leads to catastrophic failure if you don't get this bad poly out. So the game plan was to leave the femoral component, take the femoral head off, take out the acetabular component, and then revise that uh, to a new acetabular component with a dual mobility bearing. The reason for the dual mobility is the revisions uh, unfortunately have a fairly high dislocation rate and uh, this will give us a lot more stability in his hip. We'll also uh, bring the head down because of the eccentricity so that'll effectively give him a little bit more length. I'm not concerned about leg length inequalities at this point because he's getting a custom triflange on the other side and that will be sorted out at that point. So the game plan, leave femoral component, new femoral head to an oxinium head, go ahead and change the acetabular component, put a dual mobility construct with a oxinium liner uh, so there's no mismatched metals, get that taken care of, let him rehab, and then in the future go ahead and take care of the left side.